Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today we are making vanilla pudding from scratch. So if you don't have a mix, this is a great way to make pudding and it's really pretty easy to make. So we start out with um, a pan. We're gonna add a third cup of sugar, three tablespoons of cornstarch, And an eighth of a teaspoon of salt or less, just a little bit of salt here. Okay. And whisk that, this all together. Okay. Now we're going to add two cups of milk. And whisk that all together. Okay, now we're going to cook this over medium heat until it starts, until it boils um, and starts to thicken. All right, while this is cooking, you want to make sure and stir it um, so that it doesn't scorch on the bottom. It has now come to a boil. It is thick, thickened up. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, turn off the heat, take it off the heat. We're gonna add a tablespoon of butter and one teaspoon of vanilla. You wanna use the pure vanilla extract to get the best taste. You could also try using different flavors. If you want a different flavor of vanilla, you can also um, add a couple tablespoons of cocoa to it, um, to the dry ingredients at the front at the first before you add the milk for chocolate pudding. So there are some variations you can do here. All right, the butter is all melted. I'm going to just now pour this into individual serving dishes. This serving container. It should make about four servings and then you can either you can wait for it to cool down you can put it in the fridge um, if you want it cold so just um, now refrigerate this it'll it'll thicken I'm gonna do a ch the chocolate pudding now so we're gonna start out again with a third cup of sugar just a little bit of salt Two tablespoons of cocoa. And three tablespoons of cornstarch. Whisk that together. And then we're going to add two cups of milk. Whisk it together. And I'm going to <coughs> bring it to a uh, <clears throat> Heat it until it comes to a simmer and starts and it's thickened. All right, so this is to a boil and it's um, thick. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off and take it off the burner. Add the tablespoon of butter and the teaspoon of vanilla. And now I'm going to pour it into the individual serving cups. And there again, it should be about four servings. 
put it in the fridge to cool and then serve it with your favorite. You could put some with topping or however you like to eat your pudding. Sprinkle it with chocolate chips or some berries. That'd be really good. So give this pudding recipe a try.